basically uh, uh, what we're doing is we're looking at all of the data, um, uh, 39,000 stations. Uh, the UK group used 2,000 stations. They were criticized for selecting their data. Um, and I don't think they did this in a, in a purposeful way to be biased, but there may have been some bias in the way they selected their data that was inadvertent. So we're looking at all of the data. Uh, our system is working. We're now looking at this. We're looking at all the issues raised by the proper, properly skeptical. Uh, by the way, most of the skeptics, quite frankly, are raising good scientific questions. There are some people that don't pay any attention to the science. I don't call them skeptics. I call them deniers. And there are some real deniers out there, and they should be ignored. Likewise, there are some exaggerators and alarmists who ignore the science. And Al Gore and Tom Friedman are among them. They don't pay attention to the science, as the example with the polar bears illustrates. So, uh, they, they, and, and the newspapers make the debate between the, the, the alarmists and the deniers, as if that's the debate. Neither of them pay any attention to the science. You listen to the denier, and he says, oh, they don't, uh, Gore doesn't pay attention to the science. And he's right. Gore says, oh, those deniers don't pay attention to the science, and they're right. But they're the skeptics who are really doing a good job. And, and they have really raised issues that we are addressing. We're looking at the, at the uh, urban heat island effect. We're looking at the time of observation bias. We're looking at data selection bias. We're looking at all of these things. Uh, what I can say right now is we, uh, we do see global warming when we analyze all these stations. We're seeing substantial global warming. What we don't know yet is how close it will be to what the previous results are, whether it will be one or two tenths of a degree more, one or two tenths of a degree less. The reason we don't know this is we haven't looked yet. We're getting all of our systems working. We are getting it, making sure that in the end, we're, we're even starting to write the paper, and then in the end we'll run the full data set and see where it turns out because we don't want any of our biases to get in there. But the basic line is none of the effects raised by the properly skeptical uh, is going to have anything more than a marginal effect in the amount of global warming. It's really important to know whether global warming is a tenth of a degree less. If instead of it being 0.4 to the humans, it's 0.3, that's really important because then we have more time. If instead of it being 0.4, it's 0.6, then that's really important because it means we have less time. So getting that number precise is really important. But don't expect any huge surprises. The surprises will be in the fine tuning.